ladies and gentlemen, gather around for a roller coaster of a sermon. Today, we're diving headfirst into the wild world of the Antichrist, and what this character might be cooking up for us in the comedic year of 2024. Buckle up, because it's going to be a bumpy ride through biblical prophecies and cosmic hilarity. So, you might be thinking, Antichrist in 2024, seriously? Well, folks, there's an unmistakable aroma of urgency in the air. It's like the universe's microwave timer is beeping, telling us the popcorn of prophecy is ready to pop. And trust me, it's gonna be a show worth watching. Picture this, the world is at a crossroads, and God's Divine Netflix series is about to drop its most epic season yet. We're talking divine drama, folks. If you believe in God's prophetic schedule, then you know the clock is ticking faster than a squirrel on espresso. Now, don't panic, but here's the deal, the spirit of the Antichrist is out and about, mingling with us mere mortals. Yep, you heard it right. It's not waiting backstage for its big entrance, it's already doing stand-up comedy in the world. John, the apostle of biblical insights, spilled the beans way back when. He said, every spirit that doesn't high-five Jesus isn't from God, it's the spirit of the Antichrist. Talk about gate-crashing a divine party. This spirit isn't just knocking, it's hosting its own shindig. Now, you might wonder why we're talking about this spirit instead of the Antichrist himself. Well, we're not here to play spiritual detective. We're here to spot the signs, my friends. The spirit of the Antichrist is like the opening act, warming up the crowd for the headliner. Let's talk about 2024, shall we? There's gonna be an even bigger rejection of truth than when your GPS stubbornly insists you're in the middle of a lake. People are trading facts for fiction faster than you can say, conspiracy theory bingo. Truth? Who needs it when you can have your very own alternative version? Next up, we've got some major preparation going on. Picture this, the world is like a giant circus tent, and they're setting the stage for the grand arrival of the Antichrist in 2024. It's like the world's biggest talent show, and this guy's the star performer. No auditions needed, he's got the part already. But wait, there's more. The spirit of the Antichrist isn't just chilling in the world, it's made its way into some churches too. It's like a rogue comedian trying to infiltrate an improv night. Some churches are so under its spell, they'd not only invite it to the potluck, but they'd ask for its autograph. Now, the cherry on top, the infamous mark of the beast. You remember that from Revelation, right? Well, brace yourselves because in 2024, the world might just cozy up to the idea of accepting a mark for convenience. Imagine swiping your hand to pay for your morning coffee, it's like living in a sci-fi comedy. In Revelation 13, it says, no mark, no shopping. It's like the world's biggest membership card, and the Antichrist's club is exclusive. But remember, this is all just a crazy script being rehearsed for 2024. We're not here to predict, but we are here to make you giggle while you ponder. Now, let's talk about lawlessness. It's like the world's forgotten how to adult properly. The man of lawlessness, or as we like to call him, the oops I did it again guy, is making his mark. Chaos, rebellion, and a complete disregard for rules are all on the menu. It's like humanity's decided to have a lawlessness Olympics, and they're going for gold. So there you have it, folks. We're living in a world that's a mishmash of history's greatest hits, Sodom, Gomorrah, Noah's Ark, and Babylon, all rolled into one chaotic burrito. Sin might have a new wardrobe, but it's the same old villain in disguise. But fear not, my fellow cosmic comedians. We're not just spectators, we're the punchline warriors for God. It's time to don our spiritual capes, tighten our comedic belts, and bring the humor and faith to this wild, 2024 Antichrist party. Because, let's face it, when you're facing the end of the world, a good laugh might be just what the scriptwriter ordered. <laughs>